Note, all characters, events, and spoken words in this story are fictional, and is not meant to target any specific audience. Feel free to stop reading at any time and read at your own risk. Seo Kwai and Seo Man, the two known for being besties, began to avoid each other as each one began to seek her own path to losing weight. Their different habits, lifestyle, and backgrounds led them to make drastically different choices. Seo Kwai, being the one from the rich family, decided that her best solution to any problem, like always, is money. With that in mind, once Seo Kwai got home, she ordered her chef along with her servants all to help her find ways to lose weight, the quicker the better. Seo Kwai also convinced her parents to find prescription drugs that can help her lose weight quickly. Her parents were happy to oblige as it was a simple request, and price simply didn't matter for them. They also want their daughter to lose some weight as it would be better for their parental image once they decide to introduce her to their upper-class connections on her 21st birthday. Hence, Seo Kwai began her quick weight loss program. With drugs at her beck and call, Seo Kwai introduced lots of different foreign medicinal compounds into her body. Even with the servants watching over her, there were still some cases where Seo Kwai secretly overdosed in hopes of losing weight faster. Fortunately, Seo Kwai did not experience any life-threatening health conditions for now. As for Seo Kwai's meals, Seo Kwai's chef decided to find all sorts of diet recipes for Seo Kwai to try, usually consisting of ones that required a payment of some sort like the smoothie diet. Of course, these diets still had to fulfill Seo Kwai's sweet tooth as she demanded that she must not lose her sweets even when she loses her weight. As for exercising, Seo Kwai deemed that too demanding for her after a brief trial, and hence decided to neglect that for her usual routine. On the other hand, Seo Man did not have access to all the resources that Seo Kwai has. Nor did Seo Man knew how to get started. When Seo Man consulted her parents, her mother told her to simply eat healthier, exercise more, work hard, and wait it out. Although Seo Man felt like that would take too long, but Seo Man believed that slow and steady was the way to go. Well, Seo Man didn't really have any options anyways. Hence, the household's food source went through a makeover. Seo Man took charge of purchasing the groceries at the nearby supermarket. Although it was a fairly short walk to the market, Seo Man was exhausted and sweating once she had reached there. This was Seo Man's first time walking a fairly longer distance in a long time because Seo Kwai usually came to pick up Seo Man with Seo Kwai's car, which had Seo Kwai's family chauffeur driving it. Seo Man finally realized how inconvenient being fat was, and resolutely decided that she must lose weight, even if it takes a lot of hard work and a long time to do it. Seo Man bumbled around in the grocery market, selecting healthy options such as greens, fruits, vegetable oil, and whole wheat. Although the pricing was a bit more expensive than buying junk food at a glance, Seo Man's food portioning skills that she picked up from cooking practice told her that this purchase of groceries would allow her to cook much more meals to consume than the number of junk food meals she could buy. Although it was more time consuming to cook a full meal from scratch, Seo Man believed that for a healthier option, it is worth it. Plus, Seo Man had plenty of time she was willing to invest to lose her weight as Seo Man had already set losing weight as her long-term goal. Lugging the groceries home was a difficult process which exhausted Seo Man as she had to stop multiple times. Not only that, due to how fat Seo Man was, it was difficult to even hold the groceries. Seo Man even thought she would not make it home with the groceries at this rate. Fortunately, when Seo Man was halfway through and was about to give up, a slim teenage boy with fairly long bangs covering his eyes walked up to her. He introduced himself as Seo Jenkson. Seo Jenkson revealed Seo Man that he actually had been living in the house right next to hers for years and goes to the same school as hers, coincidentally being the same grade also. Seo Man was shocked that she didn't realize that someone her age was her neighbor to which Seo Jenkson responded that he usually walks to school alone, much earlier than when Seo Man probably goes to school on Seo Kwai's car. Seo Jenkson also told Seo Man that he doesn't have much of a presence at school, so it would be a surprise if Seo Man recognized him. Then, Seo Jenkson offered to help Seo Man to carry her groceries home as they were going the same way. Seo Man was elated and hurriedly agreed. 
Seo Man then bumbled along the way home while speaking occasionally with Seo Zhengson. Seo Man learned that Seo Zhengson also came from a poor family, and he also has been eating junk food. When Seo Man asked Seo Zhengson about the secret of not getting fat even when eating junk food, Seo Zhengson replied that he doesn't eat junk food or the other. Seo Man then excitedly asked what other food Seo Zhengson eats for his meals besides junk food which in turn caused Seo Zhengson to lower his head as he hesitantly replied, nothing. At that moment, Seo Man's heart suffered a sudden jolt of shock as she realized how fortunate she was to have leached off Seo Kwai's food. Seo Man's heart also gave her another set of difficult to understand, bubbly feeling, a feeling that compelled Seo Man to do what she only does with her best friend. Arriving outside Seo Man's home, Seo Zhengson placed down the groceries and gave Seo Man a little bow before he headed off towards his house. Seo Man knew she could hesitate no longer as she stopped Seo Zhengson in his tracks with an offer, I I will be cooking today. Seo Zhengson, do you want to come in for a meal? Seo Zhengson turned back to glance at Seo Man with a surprised yet questioning face. Seo Man then hurriedly clarified, it's going to be my first time cooking something besides junk food, I would appreciate it if I had someone else to try my cooking with me. Seo Zhengson silently thought about it for a bit before he silently nodded meekly. Seo Man elatedly welcomed him inside her home as she headed towards the kitchen. As for the dangers of letting a stranger, especially one of the opposite sex, into your home. Please, Seo Man knows there's a higher chance of someone kidnapping poor thin Seo Zhengson rather than herself because small Seo Zhengson is much easier to carry off than big Seo Man. Then, Seo Man began to cook. For her first attempt, Seo Man stir fried some greens, cooked some brown rice, and sliced some fruits for desert. It was a very simple meal and Seo Man didn't find it too appetizing, however, Seo Man believed that she had to start somewhere and eventually she will get there with practice. Seo Man brought the dishes out to serve Seo Zhengson who was sitting quietly at the dining table watching her. Have a try Seo Zhengson, Seo Man said with a happy smile as she sat down to eat her portion. Seo Zhengson nodded silently before beginning to eat. Then, tears began to flow down his face, shocking Seo Man. Seo Man felt sorry deep down inside for offering Seo Zhengson such a simple meal for his efforts in helping her. Now with him crying, Seo Man frantically tried to apologize, ah ah. Is it that horrible tasting? I'm sorry, if you don't like it, you don't have to. And no, it's delicious, Seo Zhengson interrupted. Seo Man froze in disbelief. Is her cooking really that good? Then, why was Seo Zhengson crying? Seo Zhengson wiped the tears away with his sleeves and as if he knew what Seo Man wanted to ask, he answered her first, I'm just happy because this is first time someone cooked for me. Seo Man felt embarrassed at this moment. At the same time, Seo Man had a fluttery, yet elated feeling inside from being praised. Seo Man then couldn't help but offer, since you like my cooking so much and no one cooks for you, how about I cook for you from now on? You can come over and try my cooking with me. Seo Zhengson looked at Seo Man in shock before he had his head down as if struggling inside. Then, Seo Zhengson asked, B but, I have nothing to pay you with, and I can't help but feel guilty if I simply ate free meals. Seo Man paused to think about it while remembering everything that Seo Zhengson had told her about himself. Then, Seo Man came up with the perfect plan and offered once more, how about this? I will cook for you. In exchange, you help me carry the groceries. Also, I plan to lose weight so I will be walking to school to exercise. So, you can walk me to school every day and show me the way since you've been doing it for years already. Seo Zhengson didn't have to think long before nodding in agreement excitedly. Hence the agreement was final. Finishing the meal, Seo Zhengson went home after his offer to wash the dishes was denied by Seo Man because she told him she would exercise a bit by washing the dishes. After Seo Man finished everything, she sat down and began to write down a diary to help motivate herself on her long-term efforts to lose weight. Then, the next day began. Early in the morning, Seo Zhengson came over to Seo Man's house, waking her up by ringing the bell. 
Then, Seo Man trudged along on her long, arduous walk to school with Seo Jenkson supporting her the entire way while learning lots of new information, info one can't see from driving, about her living area from Seo Jenkson. After school, Seo Jenkson waited for Seo Man at the gates to walk home together, after which Seo Man would cook and go to the groceries with him if needed. Hence, the cycle continued. Seo Man continued putting effort into losing weight, while Seo Kwai paid her way to losing weight. Time passed as Seo Man and Seo Kwai rarely met, however, a victor needs to be decided sooner or later, and what better time to decide that than senior prom time.